Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, here I am, not just part of me, but all of me. Thank you, Lord, for making me different than everybody else in the world. Thank you, Lord, that nobody has my fingerprint, nobody has my toe print, <laughs> nobody has my tongue print. Thank you, Lord, that nobody else can do what I can do. And this morning, Lord, I pray for a new anointing on my gifts and talents. I pray that you would give me divine appointments. That this is my moment on this earth. That I could make a difference. So Heavenly Father, here is my bottle of perfume. I pour it on Jesus' head. I'm sending a message to God. From this day forward, Whatever I am, whatever I can do, wherever I go, I'm going to do my, I, I'm going to use my life for God. My life belongs to God. My gifts and my talents, whatever I can do for God is going to come alive. And God is going to use me. And I am going to make a difference. I pray for the anointing of God. I pray for the help of angels. And then Jesus' name, God is going to fill my life with divine appointments. He's going to send people to help me. God's going to open doors for me that I've never seen. And in Jesus' name, I will be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water. My leaves will not wither. This is my season, and I will prosper, and I will walk in God's destiny. Holy Spirit, I pray for you would give me fresh oil, fresh anointing. Give me a burden for souls. Heavenly Father, stir up my gifts. Use me to impact this world. I ask for the anointing of divine appointments, God's promotion, and my gifts and talents. I plug into God's abundance. And everything I've lost, I call it back sevenfold. God, redeem the time I've lost. So here I am, Jesus. I pour my bottle of perfume on your head. You raise me up. You fight my criticizers. You spite my enemies. You surprise my friends. And in Jesus' name, I will be one of God's stories. I want my story told in heaven forever. So here I am, Lord. You do it through me. I pray for that anointing. I'm a world shaker. I'm a history maker. I'm called by God. This is my moment. I'm not going to miss my moment. Whatever I can do, wherever I go, I'm going to make a difference for God. In Jesus' name, amen. Now raise both hands and thank God. Come on, everybody, for an anointing of divine surprises. For an anointing. Now, before anybody moves, Dr. York, can you come up here? Can one of you find Dr. York? Come stand by me. Dr. York, has a, he was recruited to be a nuclear sub-captain with an IQ of 150. But instead, for 12 years, he's worked with me booking schools and churches. And these are probably... A, before you met me, you ran five businesses. <laughs> and I've told you, you're the most t talented guy I know. But he's the most humble guy. And this morning, 
You know, Pastor told me when I was here, this is very important, it just took a minute. Last time I was here, Pastor said, God spoke, you know, God laid in my heart. I want to support the power force with $10,000. $500 a month, and we're going to send you $5,000 at Christmas time. Sir, no one has ever said that to me before. Because at Christmas time, last Christmas, we had two poorer churches in, the, you know, Sean and Jerome. They did not even have, we did not have the ability to give them a, a full paycheck. That so moved me. But you know what I told pastor this morning? This church last week helped us to go to schools all over America in some of the poor, rougher areas. We're already scheduled in New Orleans, Fifth Ward. We're going to some of the toughest. He is helping us. and we're, we're. But you know this morning, how many think Jesus said, first, reach your own Jerusalem? And you know what I told pastor? I said, instead of the church giving us like a missionary, the $10,000 to 10 schools, I said, how about at the end of the service, we take up one offering for the schools in this county that I'll be able to send my staff into the, not just on, I want to send a Carolina Panther football player to meet with the principals. I want to be sure we get 25 schools. How many of you think we ought to be sure to try to get 25 schools? How many of you think I'm going to be personally involved? And you know what? I, want, I say this to you. You work with me for full time, 12 years. I want you to help me put together with, with their staff the greatest crusade we've ever seen. Can we go, can, could we, can, can, I want to pull the greatest. We have the world's strongest man on our team. We have the number one um, a junior high speaker against bullying. The number one in the nation. We're bringing them all. And we're going to do our 30 year anniversary here. And I, I'm believing for a thousand people to be saved. But how many of you think half these schools don't have parents like you? How many of you think half these schools don't have anybody? How many know half these kids don't have anybody to encourage them? How many of you think this morning this church is going to pull for this entire county? 50,000 families. Everybody say 50,000 families. And how many of you think there's enough synergism if we all pull together to make history for God? How many know somebody's got to do it? God said, I'm going to do it. How many think we might, it might as well be here? How many think it might as well be with us? Come on. How many don't want God to start some other church? How many say, Lord, let it be here? Come on. How many know this life is short? How many think we might, we might as well make an impact for God? Come on. Whew. So I'm going to ask you in a moment. I've never done this before. I brought my personal checkbook. In a moment, I'm going to ask you because it's going to be very difficult for a missionary ministry to send my staff and to, in a, we want to go to 20, every school costs us $1,000 for the year that we don't, we don't charge the church. We don't raise money from any firms or funds. We pay our own airfare to every school and every church. And this church sponsored close to, right, 30 schools across this nation. But how many of you think this morning is for the schools here? How many of you think these kids are worth it? How many believe we need to pull for the little junior high kid across town that doesn't have a mom or dad and the devil's about ready to take them out? How about the girl in the other junior high who's been molested and she feels like she's, God could never use her because she was abused? How many think we've got to make it to her school? Come on, somebody tell me we, we can. I'm going to ask you when you receive this envelope this morning, Pastor, I'm personally sponsoring one school. For my, this is my, not ministry. This is from my personal check account. And you know what the Lord told me to pray over this offering? Because this church is a big deal to me. How many believe you're a big deal to me? How many know I, I don't say none of these things? <laughs> am I right? No, am I right? Do you hear me say these things to other churches? No. So this is not a, an evangelist typical say things. How many know I'm talking about? This is personal. Everybody say this is personal. The Lord put in my heart to pray a covenant over this offering. Because I believe this is going to be where God, I believe this is going to be one of the beginnings of an outpouring in these last days. 
And the Lord put in my heart. Do you know what the Lord put in my heart to pray over this offering? Jesus said to Peter, whatever you give up for me in this lifetime, I will give it back to you 30, 60, and 100 fold. Now listen, on Christian TV and all my life, I hear people say, God's going to bless you back 100 fold. That is not what it means. It is a symbol, a Greek Aramaic symbol. How many of you remember Jesus said, forgive 70 times 7? How many know he didn't really mean 490 times? How many of you know it meant forever? Come on. How many know it meant for, forgive forever? How many understand that? How many understand when Jesus said it's easier for a rich man to get to heaven than a man to go to the eye of a needle? How many of you heard that? How many of you know there's actually a place in the wall where they have to get off their camel and go through the eye of the needle? You know what that scripture means? It doesn't mean just sit 30, 60, 100 fold. 100 fold means in Greek and Aramaic, it means an open heaven and it just keeps coming 100 fold over and over and over again. It's a term that means, everybody say open heaven. Everybody say open heaven. I was in a church in Orlando. This church runs 5,000. 5,000. And they, it cost $29 million. They still owed $7 million. And they were down to seven days, and the bank was going to repossess their church. The pastor got up and said, we don't know what to do, but they raised $70,000 cash that Sunday morning, and they gave it away to an, un, to an underprivileged children's home. And he held up that check and said, we're seven days from, for $7 million, or we lose this building. But we're going to give our last 70000 to the underprivileged children's home. And the entire church of 3000 2000 had left, stood up, and every one of them stood on the promise that says, Jesus said he'll give it back to you 30, 60, 100 fold. And they all quoted that out loud. Three days later, the local hospital, 25-story hospital, calls the church and says, would you sell the 10 acres next to your church? The city's going to close us down unless we make 1,000 parking places, and we're desperate. We'll even let your church folks park there. And the pastor said, what would you pay for those 10 acres? And he said, we're prepared to bring you a check today for $7 million if you love and he had in his hand a check for $7 million. And that's a great story if that was the end. But 10 years later, I was flying through the Orlando airport. I was walking like this, and I look at the newspaper stand. You know what's on the newspaper stand? Headlines, anonymous donor walks into a church and gives $5 million. So you know what I did? Ten. I said, I gotta see who that is. I gotta, I gotta buy that newspaper. Ten years later, I pull out the newspaper, and to my shock, it's the same church. And I said, Lord, what does this mean? And the Lord spoke to me. It's not a hundredfold one time. It's an open heaven that just keeps coming like a momentum. And there's nothing the devil can do to stop it. And you know what I prayed over this offering this morning? Because if we're going to reach those 25 schools, if we're going to reach this county, we're going to need several heroes today to write a check for five schools. I've asked God for 12 people in this crowd. we got two of them right here, 10 more, who will sponsor one of the schools. Not, not, over, not over across the country, right here. And how many of you believe this morning God could provide for us to go into every school in this county. How many think we're doing it the right way? Come on, somebody. How many of you believe we're doing it the right way? I'm going to ask the ushers to pass that in to everybody here. And I want you to take out your checkbook just like I did this morning. And I want you to take out your billfold. I want you to pray over this. And I want you to pray and say, God, give me an open heaven from this day forward. 
And when you pray, I'll just make sure, if you, if you don't have a pen, please raise your hand. We'll make sure everybody gets a pen. What about Albemarle High School? Should we go there? How about Albemarle Junior High? Should we go there? Middle school. How about, what's the small town right over here? That little town. What? Oldsboro? Oakboro? They have a school, don't they? Probably a small one. How many think we should go there? Come on, somebody. Please tell me. What's another small town? Car Carthage? Is it, what, what? Locust? Do they have a school? Should we go there? St Stanfield? How many of you think those kids don't get everything? I said, how many believe those kids don't get it? Again? How many believe it? How many think they're just as important to God as the biggest high school in Charlotte? Come on, somebody. This morning, I want you to shock me. I want, I want to tell a story this morning. I, I want to tell the story of this church. Pastor, I believe the rest of my life I'm going to be telling this story about this church everywhere I go. How many think we need to make a story together? I said, how many think we need to make a new story that there was a church in America that pulled together? For, for a county. I'm going to ask everyone here to hold the number. This morning, I was praying the way here. I said, God, I need two men, two heroes to write a check for five schools. And if 12 others wrote, we got two of them right here, my check and his. We, all we need is 10 more people to, to, to give one school. And how many believe the rest, we could see these 25 schools come in and how many think we ought to be able to go to every single school? Come on, how many think any school within 25, 30 miles we should go to and invite their parents to come back here? And how many know they're going to get saved? And how many think they're going to show up the next Sunday because we got a plan how to get them back? Come on, everybody. How many believe we want to go somewhere that maybe no church has ever gone in North Carolina? But how many think somebody somewhere is going to do it? How many believe we're the right, it's, a, it's the right time? I said it's the right time. Everybody say, I'm going to have an open heaven. I'm making a covenant with God. I'm taking care of his business. He will take care of my business. Heavenly Father, speak to my heart. What is my bottle of perfume this morning? I'm making a covenant with you for what Jesus said. A hundredfold return, which means an open heaven from this day forward. For my family, my finances, and my future. I announce an open heaven over my family. I announce an open heaven over my finances. I announce favor over my children and grandchildren. Now, everybody say, Holy Spirit, speak to my heart. What should I give? This is, a whole, this is a holy offering. The Lord just put in my heart. I'm praying. The Lord just put in my heart to pray for one person here to give 12 schools. I believe somebody in this crowd is going to spot the 12 schools. I, this, Lord, I thank you that I probably have never felt stronger, the anointing in an offering, than this one. Because I've never seen a church pull like this church to pull. And, Father, this church has sent missionaries all over the world. Father, this church, this church has sent ships out. They feed 3,000 kids a week in India. Lord, I pray that October 30th, you'd send the ships back in. And, Lord, this morning, I pray you provide for us to go to all 25 schools. And I ask you for a miracle this morning. One last time, everybody say, Lord, what would you have me give? For our schools, for my county, for my moment, for an open heaven from this day forward. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, if you're making a check this morning, just make it to John Jacobs Power Force. And if you want to give by card, I don't normally carry my checkbook. I have to go get it out of the trunk. But if you want to give by any card will work. Just fill out the back. How many believe that we're going to, we're going to be able to go to all 25 schools. Come on, somebody get it. How many, I don't think this has been another church in the history of North Carolina that's done that. Come on, how many of you think it's some, 
How many of you know it's time for someone to do something somewhere? How many know then God will do the rest? Come on. So I want to ask you to write, everybody fill out your envelope. By the way, this is not going for the kids in Chicago or India. This is going for the kids that you saw at the grocery store that don't have a dad right here. How many know we're going to reach them right here? So everybody fill out your envelope. Everybody fill it out. If you're making a check, just put John Jacob Power Force. If you want to give by any card, any card will work. Just fill out the back. Pastor, I'm leaving for 25 schools. Everybody say 25 schools. Everybody say 1,000 souls. Everybody say 500 added to this church the next Sunday morning. That doesn't, everybody okay with that? How many know, some of them, a couple of them may not smell good. How many know a couple of them may not dress right? Everybody, how many think we're good with that? Come on, how many know they may not look right? There might even be a teenager that smells like pot. But how many of you know it's a new story? How many know it's a new story? Come on, how many of you know this offering is for a new story? So I want you to put your envelope. This is instead of the church's support. I said, Pastor, instead of the support you're going to be giving us, I'd rather the people be able to give to the local schools. Come on, how many think that's the right thing? Come on, am I right? How many think that's the right thing to do? I'm going to ask the ushers to get ready. Can you, can you collect the offering? And one last announcement i got to make. If you know a school you want us to go to, I want you to call the church this week. If you've got children, friends that teach, you know the principal, how many know we're going to start with those, with the connections in this church? How many of you know somebody in a school? How many of you have some connection with a public school in this area? Let me see your hands. How many have some connection to a public school? Would you call the church, please, and give us your name and um, call the church and put, give, us, give them your name and give them the name of the school? And how many of you think we're all going to pull together? I'm going to send my pro football players to visit the schools. We're going to have Nicole and you call all this. We're going to put more effort into this crusade than any we've had in 10 years. Come on, how many think we're a friends and a family? Come on. Is it okay? I'm, a Nor I'm proud I'm a North Carolinian. Come on. I now like shrimp and get grits. Come on. And how many think I like the right church? Come on. How many of you think this, it's hard to find anyone in the world, a pastor like this? Come on. So how many think we're a good team? Josh, Josh, stand up. This is the youth pastor here. He rode bulls and played semi-pro football and you're somebody, all the football players and all the tough teenagers who don't want to go to youth group, they'll relate to you. Come on, how many think God's put together the right staff? You're, you're awesome. You are awesome. Come on, 25 schools. Everybody say 25 schools. Pastor, I'm going to turn it over to you. I poured my heart out this morning. I love you, and Jesus loves you. And if I had my way about it, I'd go to lunch with every one of you. God, let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Come on. God is up to something incredible. There's not a doubt in my spirit. Not a doubt. And I've, when these happen, it's hard sometimes to put your arms around it because I'm still putting my arms around it. But I believe God's in it. I know he is, because it's bearing witness time and again. Would you stand with me? Father, you're an awesome God, and you do the impossible. I pray, God, that you will extend our hearts in a way to people that we haven't done before. I, Lord, ask you to expand our, our dreams Lord, I ask you to make those dreams of a spiritual significance. And Lord, doing with what we have for your glory, Lord, we know that you will do the greater things. So today, Lord, I thank you for the challenge, but I thank you, Lord, for the dream. I thank you, Lord, that the heart to reach this next generation, that many have said it is futile, and it can't be done. 
Lord, I pray that we say to the world, that's another lie of the devil. That's the devil trying to discourage people to reach out. And Lord, you said if we'll do what we can do, you'll do the rest. Lord, these days ahead are days of preparing for the war, for the battle. But Lord, the battle is already won. But you tell us to get ready and prepare for the, the battle is the Lord's. But we're going to be there, God. Use us in your awesome, mighty name. In the name of Jesus. God's people said, amen, amen. Have a wonderful day. See you tonight. God's with us. God's with us.